Hello everybody out there. This is Utsav Singh from Smart Tech and today I'm just gonna show you guys a quick tip on how to import and export height maps into UE4. So this is one height map I created um, using World Machine. So height maps are basically grayscale images that is black and white images that define um, how it is got in the land or something is gonna be raised. Um, in case of material materials, it works something like um, normals and UE4 uses them for world displacement, displacement offset, etc. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just hide this. It is just a map I open randomly, and what I'm going to do is first I'm going to show you guys how to export the height map. Okay, so open your landscape uh, in the modes, go to landscape and in the manage here you have saved in case if you have a new landscape let's just say i'm gonna create a new level here very fast let me just open it um self selected right cool now in this case you will just if you have nothing in your landscape if you have no landscape present it will just show you um this panel when you create your um let's just say and when you select the landscape mode so i'm just going to create new this select the settings make sure the total components um doesn't matter actually it matters on the size you are looking for right so 64 is pretty small doesn't matter um 505 meters um one vertice one vertice will represent one meter okay so that is the basics fill world will actually fill the world and i don't want that i want to set this 8 8 just the defaults and pretty much what you have to do now is create right you can't see this because i i don't have any light or anything in my atmosphere so just ignore this part i'll just directional light I'm just doing some basic setting to movable and going here and atmosphere fog this shouldn't be visible in your area what you have to do is is go here under the light color etc there is, is show advanced and just take the option so that the atmosphere fog uses the directional light to set the um, sun's location so this is your landscape i have not assigned any material or anything if you want want to learn how to create landscape materials and all you can just check out my other videos like advanced landscape creation series and there's a beginner level series that shows you the that shows you the basics okay so now what i'm gonna do is sculpt something so that it has some height data to export right i'm just gonna create some blobs but the uh, doesn't really matter but in case you are doing something um, not just it I want to export it right now what I want to do is just create your turn first right and I'll just do this and I'm just gonna end this here so now I have this basic terrain bad looking one right now what you want to do is in the sculpt options make sure you have that selected not manage nor paint you have have to select the skull go to your target list under uh, under that there is a layer drop down select that now, if you click on this left click on the side map you can't see nothing but if you right click it will show you two options import from file and export to file i'm gonna use the export to file um just desktop height map i'm just gonna do height map tutor to make things simpler and i'm just gonna export a dot png file now remember just look at this terrain for a while look at your terrain for a while um just kind of memorize it how it looks so i'm just gonna select this landscape and delete it right now here as you can see we have this grayscale image saved so I'm going to go to my UA4 and there are two options create new and import from file so what you want to do is select import from file and press this three dots 
and height map file that is select your height map file now it is gonna not show you much in the wireframe but it is actually gonna be there so make sure just to click this fit your data because if you have something like that it is going to completely mess your height map because your height map was made in other settings right so fit your data will solve that problem and just import as you can see exact same thing replicated here just using a simple file now what is the use of this let's just say you have a very big landscape like 64 square kilometers and you want to replicate that if you go ahead and press ctrl c then it will copy that but it will take some time some time um, because it is going to have copy it is going to have to copy all that data um, so yes you can go ahead and paste it in another map or project right away but the copy and pasting can take hours if you have if you don't have a top-end system okay so exporting height maps like just see a 300 kb file this one is okay so you can quickly replicate these just as an example i'm going to just delete this remember and remember that for that um, landscape i used to have at the start of this video i'm just going to import that real quick so i have this folder actually just let me go ahead and press this three dots again i'm gonna select my height map as you can see nothing much here i'm just gonna make sure fit to data right doesn't look like much import at first it is actually two kilometer by two kilometer as you can see this is not the mountain one because it is actually a different level that I have um, saved in one of my um, let's just say um, I have this saved from another project of mine okay so if you do want this this is a PNG I can also import raw 16 files um, which is the best way to export from world machine as I know okay so I have this if I select this as you can see it just lag for a moment and fit the data right and this import I made this terrain real quick now you can just go ahead and do something like crazy this should give you a pretty stretched out one now this is a hundred by hundred now in this case all I showed you was this was the case where you had no landscape in your level right so uh, I'm just gonna delete this level I don't need this anymore right so let me go ahead and delete it now I'm just gonna open up that level I had earlier the material one I'm just gonna hide this now remember I have this one landscape already here so what do I do if I go here there's seriously no option I have this curl paint and manage okay so now if you if by default it would be set to selection tool there are various options here like add tile delete move to level change component size using which you can edit all the stuff edit splines and the new landscape at the top so this new landscape will allow you to create another landscape in the same level right so let me just say I'm gonna have to let's do something like let me go to my desktop I'm gonna import that old height map we created make sure to press fit to data okay height map resolution and stuff and just press import now as you can see we have our landscape in here right away the same way you can just make sure which landscape you want is highlighted in here landscape one okay so you can again go and export to file and you can just go ahead and select i can just select this one and export to file simple so well as you can see i've just created a short video for you guys and hope you liked it make sure to 
um, share this video press the like button if you liked it and if you didn't press that button as well um, I would love your feedback right um, if you want if you have any other video idea ideas post them in the comments and make sure to share this video because spread the word guys and goodbye until next time keep creating